Package device and software would like to introduce you to our SX series switches and how easy and quick it is to configure and install. When you first log into the dashboard, you'll see five main menu options. You have your system, ports, VLAN, traffic, and management. When you scroll down below, you immediately see all 24 ports and their status based on the key shown below. When you first click on the system menu option, this is where you can see the information regarding the product and the model. If you navigate to your ports menu, your ports menu provides specific port settings ranging from setting a port rate limit, link aggregation between ports, to port mirroring. You also have port statistics for each individual port, which will include packet errors that may occur on a port. Now, if you want to work with your PoE, you have your PoE control options for the PoE ports, including setting power standards and scheduling. You can also see the detail of the wattage and the amperage or voltage being utilized per PoE port. When you go to your VLAN configuration options, you have two main options available for you. You have your package zones wizard, and you also have your package zone templates. When you navigate to the package zone template option, if you scroll down, you'll see that Package has provided some preset templates. If you wanted to utilize one of these to configure the ports, all you need to do is select the template, click on Apply Template, and it will immediately apply the changes to each port. If you go back to Package Zones and you start your Package Zones wizard, all you need to do to configure your ports are select the zones you want to be accessible on the network, click on Next. Let's select the ports that we want to be on Zone 2. You proceed to do so with any additional zone assignments needed. Select the next option and you will immediately configure your ports for this switch. When you go to your traffic menu, this is where you have a lot of unicast, multicast, broadcast packet assistance. You have your QoS, for instance, for your quality of service. This is for setting priority based on latency sensitive devices. A good example is your VoIP systems. If you also go to your STP option, which is your spanning tree protocol, this helps to prevent loops from occurring on your network, especially when it comes to your broadcast traffic. You also have your IGMP, otherwise known as your Internet Group Management Protocol, which works a lot more with your multicast traffic packets. This helps to send the necessary multicast traffic to the devices that are only requesting the communication rather than flooding all the ports on the network. When you go to your management menu option, you have two main options available for you. You have your maintenance and you have your network diagnostics. From the maintenance section, you have configuration file to backup and restore. You have firmware update as well as your factory default option. Now, when you go to your network diagnostics, this is where you can actually check the cable for each individual port. You can ping an IP address to make sure you're still getting out to the internet or you can connect to that device on the network. And you have also your trace route option, which will show you where there might be some communication drops between a device and its destination. If you click on the SX24P icon on the top left hand side, you will be instantly navigated back to your dashboard. With the SX series switch, we're looking for easy install, easy configuration and ease of use.